All right, so I'm just gonna take a video because it's a lot easier than um, explaining everything. So first off, the bumper mount right here, which is actually the back of the frame on the left side, passenger side, is where it should be. Now, if you look down in there, there's a bracket right here that connects to the actual frame, which is right there. I know it's kind of dark, but it, that's all I can do. Now on this side, it hit, and that bracket is actually pushed up. So that bracket connects to right here, which is the frame. That needs to be replaced. All right. Now you can see right there, and then over there, the bracket, where the bracket's you know supposed to go, the frame and everything is in the same exact spot. It's just that bracket that holds the bumper on. All right, so this is the uh, driver's side. All right, it's all the sheet metal. Um, the uh, master cylinder, the air filter, all that stuff. This is all got to get. The master cylinder doesn't have to get replaced. It just has to get taken off of the uh, off of this, it's holding it, pushing it up a little bit. Um, the inner fender um, on that side. You see because it all got pushed back. Um, the cab, there's nothing wrong with the cab. It all actually just fell apart from the cab. So it just, it just pulled it off. So this, it's still solid. Um, the door does have a little bit of damage right here because, not because of the impact, but when the fire department tried to get me out, they ripped the door open. And since this was pushed back a little bit, it fucking bowed right here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you just gotta pop that dent out. Psh, door's good. Now on this side, uh, it's a little bit of crumple. I don't know if you can see it right there. I don't know if that's worth fixing that fender. I mean, the inner well it was already rusted out. I had planned on replacing that anyway. Um, yeah. So there's that. I'm trying to do the video pretty fast. Now the front end, your uh, radiator mount here. It's got to be replaced, obviously. The radiator has to be replaced. Now, the motor was running after the impact. It did hit the radiator, so you're going to definitely need another one because it hit right there, and it tweaked the whole thing. Now, I think that there's a pin inside there because when I, when I hit it, the motor was still running, but the fan obviously didn't do that much damage, so I'm assuming that the, there's a slide pin in there that, that shattered just in case issues like this it doesn't fucking fuck the motor up. Uh, okay, so, oh yeah, and the hood, obviously, is just fucking horrible, yep. Now, the other thing that happened is you can see this red toe strap here. When the assholes went to tow it back to my house, this didn't obviously latch because your supporting member is tweaked. So they just drove it, this caught wind, and the corner of this, of the hood, hit right there. Now, you can see that it did crack but it's a rainbow crack. It doesn't go across the window and it goes right down to two fixed spots underneath there. I don't know if you can see it back there. Right there on the top right hand side. So that it's not gonna crack anymore. Um, that doesn't need to be altered in any way. Um, so this is the, uh, why is it so blurry? What the hell? There we go. All right. Um, yeah, we started doing a little bit of work to it. This is the rear end, perfectly fine. Uh, the back of the truck, the bed. There, the bed is fine. I just do have two little rust holes right there and right there, all cosmetic shit. <clears throat> all the extra parts that are going with it. Um, tail lights, you know. For when I'm asking for the truck, new cluster, you can sell all this shit and <laughs> make the money back the tires are all good they got tread on them um they're muddy right now because of the place that it got uh, towed to it does have lowering blocks in it let's see if i can show you on the left and right side four inches um ride height off the ground in the back um the frame is solid um all the way around as you can see you know, both sides, no no rot, no nothing. And this part this car is clean. I do have a cherry bomb with a um thrush uh motor um muffler on it. That's up there. So I can get a better picture of that. 
So there's the thrush muffler and the cherry bomb. All right, and uh, more of the frame on this side. Underneath the front, I mean, it's clean. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, hmm. Yeah, oh, well, there's the inside of the hood. I mean, it looks gnarly, but like I said, all these, these are fucking simple bolts. You just pop the whole, all this off and fix that right there. And you're good to go, man. This piece is on Amazon. The radiator mount is on Amazon for, I think it was 60 bucks. I got uh, this piece off of one of the Chevy sites for like 40 bucks. The, oh, the air dam, the bumpers, the dude, they go for cheap. You know, you can have this car rebuilt with minimal amount of money. All right.